For the next portion, you're going to take your apron panel and you're going to fold it in half like so and you're going to lightly press just enough that you get a little tiny crease that you can use as a reference point but you don't want it to be a permanent crease. So just very lightly. Okay. Then you're going to take this to the table or your work surface and you're going to lay it out and put a pin at the top so that marks your center and on most fabrics you'll be able to see that crease a lot more clearly than on this fabric but I can see it enough that I can get an idea so then you're going to take that 8x10 eight, eight photo that you used earlier and you're going to use the back side of it and you just need to mark the halfway point which since it's an 8x10 it's going to be the 5 inch mark so just make a little mark just real lightly maybe with a pencil and you need to do that to the top and the bottom and then you're going to measure anywhere from eight to nine inches down from the top, depending on where you want your pockets to be. So I'm gonna do eight inches down. And I'm gonna line up with the crease where my little marks are. Okay, so now that I have that where I want it, I'm gonna grab my pockets, make sure the pocket hem is on the top side and you're gonna just line that up next to your photo template lined up with the, the top edge okay and then you're gonna pin it in place So make sure you pin the edges that are next to the template first so it doesn't shift and that way you know that they're going to be parallel. Okay, so we'll pin around the rest of it and then we'll sew on our pockets. So now that we have it all pinned, we're gonna start sewing. And if you'll notice, the way I have the pins is they're facing in, because when I'm going along this edge, it's easier to pull them out this direction, and if you have them going this direction, then they're going to be in the way of the needle. So this way, as you're sewing, it's easy to just pull them out and to put them in, in your pin cushion or whatever you have to collect your pins and um, since I'm right-handed I'm more comfortable with doing it from the right edge so I moved my my needle to the far right instead of the left how we had it before so now we're gonna sew so remember to back stitch You stop about an eighth inch away, put the needle down, press your foot up, pivot, 